Hey, this is Anthony from Revzilla. We're going to watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our 2016 Waterproof Motorcycle Boot Gear Guide at Revzilla.com. In this video, I'm going to break down my best for 2016 in motorcycle boots that are waterproof. Why would you need a waterproof motorcycle boot? Multi-season riding, everyday commuting. If you think you're going to get caught in the rain, this is how you stay cool, comfortable, and focused on your ride because you're not worrying about your wet feet. Now, we've broken down this category into everyday boots, touring boots, adventure, sport boots at different prices, feature sets, and levels of technicality. We also have a handful of different styles. Remember, this is based on the best on our riding, research, and our expert opinion. It's our sort of part of our larger gear guide series at Revzilla.com. Helmets, jackets, boots, gloves, we cover the best of the moto gear industry for 2016, whether you're just starting out or you're looking to upgrade. Now first, on my table to my right is our best waterproof boot in the touring category from an entry level standpoint. This is the Tourmaster Solution WP Air. When we look at it, it comes in a WP version and a WP Air. At around the $130 mark, it's not going to break the buck. It's going to be leather. You're going to get big mesh cutaway panels over top of a waterproof breathable liner. So again, Best of both worlds, you're going to be shielded from Mother Nature, it's going to allow your foot to breathe, and again, you're getting a boot that's not going to be an overly complex boot or an overinvestment if you're commuting, if you're riding every day, if you're doing some lightweight touring. Again, bang for the buck factor, this is the best that we've seen under that $150 mark. Now, moving on to my on the bike, off the bike riding shoe in this waterproof category. This is what we consider to be the hands down best. It is a ZLA award winner. This is the TCX X Street WP. Comes in a men's and ladies version, CE rated full grain leather, waterproof breathable liner all the way up. It's also going to be around the $150 mark. We've had tremendous success with it, so have other riders over the last few years. We're hoping it stays in the lineup forever, but again, under a pair of jeans, on the bike, off the bike, it looks phenomenal. It's comfortable enough. It comes in men's and ladies. And again, at around the $150 mark, it's not over the top, but it is a classic from TCX. From there, we stay casual, and now we go to the top end of the food chain. This is what we consider to be a premium casual boot. This is from Roland Sands, brand new. This is called the RSD Mojave. Waterproof, all the way up to about here. Full grain leather comes in four colors. Comes in the Oxblood, which is really outlier. We really dig it. Comes in a whiskey, which is brown, a black, also comes in a gray. And if we look at it at around the $300 mark, that's a lot of investment for a boot, but it's beautiful. The hardware's beautiful. The stitching's beautiful. Really, really finite in the way they attack things. But if we look at it, you're still looking at a boot that's going to be CE rated and have great ankle, toe, and heel protection. That's the Roland Sands Mojave, the best in that premium casual crossover category. Now, what I'd love for you to do is click our logo. Subscribe to Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback. But I'd love it if you would challenge me on what you think I left out in our best motorcycle waterproof boots category today. Now, moving right along, now I shift gears into Gore-Tex. And remember, you can look at waterproof breathability, and then there's the gold standard. This is what we consider to be the best waterproof in the European sport and sport touring category. This is the most aggressive boot on the table that really screams Italy. This is the Dionese TRQ Tour Gore-Tex. At around the $330 mark, it's a steal. It's Gore-Tex. It's the gold standard in waterproof breathability guaranteed for life. But the beauty of this boot, and I've toured Italy in them, is that it steals race DNA off of the entirety of the race lineage of Dionese boots, and it bakes it into a more sport, sport commuting, and sport touring type of a structure. So if we think about the Ducati multi Strata rider, I immediately go here. Rear entry and exit, great protection at the shin. You have a hinged ankle, you have a CE rating, and again, your Gore-Tex, waterproof breathability on the TRQ Tour Gore-Tex from Dionese. And from a fit standpoint, it's not overly European. Handful of colors available as well. Moving to my left, then I switch gears and I stay slightly technical. Now I have the Alpine Stars Corazol, which released in the fall of 15. Really caught us off guard. This, in our opinion, is the most technical boot under the $300 mark, and it's going to be the best adventure or light dual sport boot in that category that's still waterproof. It's going to be microfiber. It's going to be waterproof. It was dry star membrane from Alpine Stars all the way up. But what we like about it, it steals DNA out of that toucan family. So you're getting the self-aligning, self-cleaning buckles from the off-road world. You're getting a big, beefy boot. But again, you're not investing over that $300 mark that you'd have to do if you're looking at the Toucan, which is Gore-Tex, or something like the CD Adventure Rain, also Gore-Tex, which are going to be way high up and more in that adventure category. So the Alpine Stars Corazol are best in the light adventure and dual store category, continuing the waterproof theme. Now, last up on the table, I have the Daytona Roadstar, which is the Rolls-Royce of touring boots. 
Gore-Tex, waterproof breathability coming out of Bavaria, a little factory. All they do is make these boots by hand from Daytona. It's family owned. And if we look at it, premium full grain leather that's hydrophobic, a ton of panels. It's the creature comforts that really set the Daytona Roadstar off. Again, dual zippers. And what we really like about it, why we call it a touring boot over that $400 mark, more than an adventure boot, is that the soles are great on the bike, off the bike sole. Great protection and stability when you're riding, but comfortable enough for a walk off the bike. I give it about a six and a 10 on that flex scale. So again, really over the top. There's nothing quite like it. There's a reason why we go out of our way to import Daytona. They are the best in the touring boot category because that is what they focus on and that is all they do. So remember, the next step in your journey is to click the info button. Visit the boot guide at Revzilla.com, read other rider reviews, and watch detailed breakdown videos on all of the motorcycle boots at Revzilla.com in this waterproof category. Remember, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Also note, it's part of our larger gear guide series for 2016. Helmets, jackets, boots, gloves, in all their different delineations, we cover the best in all of the key categories, whether you're just starting out or you're looking to upgrade. Thanks for watching our 2016 Waterproof Motorcycle Boots Gear Guide at Revzilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.